What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today I'm going to tell you about a product I've been using for over the past year that I absolutely fell in love with that has become a must have for me. So stay tuned and we'll tell you a little bit more about this. All right guys, so I've been using these quick loader straps for over a year now, and these things are totally awesome. Um, what I do with my trailer is I put the fast track system down, and or E-track system, I'm sorry, I use an E-track with uh, D-rings that go into place here, um, or O-rings, shall I say, and that just lock in so I can move my tie downs wherever I want, however I want, and I ain't gotta worry about anything. So these things have been totally awesome. I got so sick of having to tie loose webbing up or having to even deal with all the loose webbing that I found these retractable straps. I tried the Reese, I tried the, uh, the Reese ratchet straps. There was um, some more off of uh, Amazon. Uh, trying to think of what they are. Um, I can't think of them. They're just like the Reese straps, but within a month they, they broke. They quit working the mechanism that you undo it. Uh, to press the little red button and, and try to loosen it up. Uh, just quit working and broke on me, so I had to start taking a screwdriver and pressing down in there to unlock it to where I could you know, actually untie my stuff. So uh, last year, um, the quick loader uh, sent me some ratchet straps and they sent me a couple of these and they sent me a couple of the 1500s, the QL 1500, the smaller ones here, and I'll talk about them as well. But uh, so I started using them and I fell in love with them. Well, I bought the Z Master this year and when I bought it, I needed more tie downs. So, uh, you know, I, I reached out and got four more 4,500 uh, quick loader straps. Now these are 15 foot webbing. Uh, they're uh, 4,500 pound brake strength, 1,500 pound uh, for loads up to 1,500 pounds. Brake strength of 4,500 pounds though. They got the D-rings connected, which I've got one here that I've, I've you know, been using. Um, and so uh, we'll show you how this exactly works. Um, but guys, there's no more loose webbing. And a lot of people think that, you know, even after a year, I, this is one that's been out in the weather. It's literally just sits on my trailer, if you can't tell. So this is a year right here of what it looks like. And it's still not bad. Um, so, you know, here's the, here's the, God, I hate, I hate letting it go because I know, I know the strength it's got. Um, but, uh, it's, it's still, it's still good. Like there's, I promise you, there's no, uh, there's no messing with it. Uh, because if, if this, if I let this go, it's going to come back and pop me right in the knuckle. So, uh, you know, even after a year, the spring is still great on it and they work fabulous guys. So I'm going to show you how they work here. Let me move these out of the way. <coughs> So if you don't have anything to tie to, you've got your D-ring down here that you can always wrap around and tie back to uh, on both sides for that matter. And then when you want to loosen it uh, to let it out, then you, you just pull this back and lift up and it, it loosens it. You pull it out and then uh, you know it literally just loosens it. So we'll show you here real quick and show you how this works. All right guys, so if I've got this, um, and literally all I want to do is, I mean, this can stay like this, but uh, so what I'm going to do is I, I just took it to my D-ring over here, my O-ring, whatever you want to call it. I'll usually run it over my mower or to my mower or something like that. Um, usually I run it over the front of my mower. I hook it here. It automatically takes out all the slack for me. So if I had something to show you, which I do, let me get it real fast. I'll show you. Let's use one of these just because it seems fun. All right. So with this uh, retractable spring right here, this ain't going to go anywhere. I mean, this is what I absolutely love about this is it automatically pulls the slack. I ain't got to do nothing. When I want to tighten it, I just automatically tighten and there you go. It is that simple. There is no, there is no, no loose webbing. It's tight. Uh, when you want to undo it, you pull this back, pull it forward. It pops loose. You undo it. And as you can tell here, I'll move this out of the way here. 
and uh, you know it literally goes right back in. So you you have no worries. I mean, it's this thing is just totally totally awesome. Same thing for uh, you know if you want to use if you don't have anything to tie to, then you can move your ring, wrap it around your thing here, pull it to your other side. Wrap it around. Let me move this ring up here. Strap it to my ring. There we go. And then, and there you go. Ta da. You're tight. No loose webbing. You want to undo it. Pops right open. This automatically goes straight here for you which is where you need it to be for your, your webbing. You just take your rings and undo them. And then get your D-ring out of the way there. And you're right back in. So this is a 15 foot 4500. This is the QL 4500 with a 4500 pound brake strength. Then you've got the smaller one here. This is your QL 1500 with a 1500 pound brake strength. Then they have a QL 3000, which is a 3000 pound brake strength. Then uh, your 4500, and then of course you got the QL 10,000, which is like heavy, heavy duty. Uh, that's great. So if you're looking at these smaller ones, you're looking at about 22 bucks. If you're looking at the other ones, you're looking at about uh, the, the 1500s are about $22 on their website. If you look at the uh, the 3000s, then they're about 26. If you look at these uh, 4500s, they're $30 a piece. And then when you get on up into the 10,000s, they get up into the uh, a little bit more expensive price range. But guys, no more webbing, <laughs> no more worrying about tying stuff off. Uh, I know the shock straps out. I personally have not tried the shock strap, but the reason I haven't tried the shock strap is because I don't like the loose webbing anymore. I don't like having to tie all of that up. And so uh, when you when you go to tie that up, then it just man it just makes for so much extra time that I don't have to have because I can just do this and it goes right back. Um, so it, it's just so easy, so easy to use this thing. And storage, I mean, that's what your storage is. You don't have a bunch of loose webbing you gotta wind up or roll up or anything. It's all right there, guys. So I just wanted to give y'all a little bit about the, uh, the straps, how I strap down my equipment, why I use these, and how long I've been using them. Like I said, I've been using them for over a year. They're so great, I had to get more. They're absolutely phenomenal, worth every penny. And uh, you know, I had the thing of, <clears throat> are they gonna last a year? With especially being spring loaded, that's one of everybody's biggest problems. Or you know, is something gonna mess up? Uh, you know, but these things, totally awesome guys. Well worth the money. If you've got the extra money to spend on good, retractable ratchet straps to where you don't have to worry about nothing, trust me, go check out Quick Loader Straps. You can check them out at uh, thetiedownstore.com online. You can check them out at, uh, you can just type in Quick Loader or whatever on online as well, Quick Loader Straps. Um, Instagram, they're on Instagram as well. The Product Pro is the guy's name on there. Go check them out guys, see what you think. He's got a lot of videos to show you the different models and everything of how they all work, but it's pretty much what I just showed you. So it's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, See you in the next one.